Namaste. I am Dr. Jay Rajan. I am the Chief Medical Officer of Ayurveda Gram, an internationally reputed Ayurvedic healing center run by Kerala Ayurveda in Bangalore, India. I have been practicing Ayurveda for more than 15 years. I have been traveling around the world spreading the message of Ayurveda in helping the people to be more healthy. Let us discuss about various metabolic issues which is most prevalent these days. One of the global health concerns is the metabolic disorder, whether it is obesity or high cholesterol or diabetes or so-called metabolic syndrome, the group of symptoms coming under the metabolic disorders. Digestion and metabolism is considered as the activity of Agni in Ayurveda. Agni is nothing but fire. Or digestion in Ayurveda covers both gut level digestion, that is a conversion of this gross food into uh, nutrients and then uh, changing into the tissue as nutrients. So keeping up digestion and metabolism, the key three factors are when to eat, how much to eat and what to eat. In that the most important is when to eat. Keep up a cyclic rhythm. So your body is aware about when the food is going to come. System will be automatically adjusted towards that. What to eat? It depends upon your basic body type. Those who are already having a metabolic disorder, I think the most important is to have whole grains and the natural whole food rather than going ahead with uh, the refined uh, food. Because whenever we take total natural whole grains and whole food, our body can easily relate to that. And because it is having the same constitution, our body tissue and the tissue of a plant the natural elements are having the, the same vibration. The orange what we are taking is changing to us, our tissue, our muscles or our bone or our... In the same way, at some point of time, we are also merging with the earth and going as the feed for the plants and animals. So it's an, a transparent transformation. So when it is in the same natural form, for the body, it is very easy to identify, utilize and assimilate. This is the first key point to have whole food natural. When I say natural, I want to remind here one point that I know a lot of people think that, okay, natural, so let us eat a lot of raw items that is healthy. But it is not true. Eating too much raw item can cause delayed digestion and metabolic disorders. Because digestion is nothing but cooking. When you eat a lot of uncooked item, for example, a lot of raw salads, digestion is cooking. When you eat a lot of uncooked item, it is body has to spend so much energy, what we are supposed to spend through the flame in a kitchen, that has to be done by the body to convert it. It's a very strenuous job for the digestive system. That causes delay in digestion. That delay in digestion causes further metabolic issues or digestive issues. Better not to go for too much raw item, but to go for cooked, either steamed or grilled or boiled. Little bit salad is okay. It totally depends upon your digestive strength. If your digestion is strong enough, having a little bit salad with your food is good. But otherwise, 
our main meal definitely it should be well cooked either steamed grilled or uh, cooked it is very very important now let us see what are the 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 other issues which can lead to metabolic issues like obesity cholesterol one is the food when to eat what to eat and how much to eat eating food should be according to your digestive strength in moderation better not to eat too much better not to fast too much fasting this frequent fasting can again alter the immune system and the digestive system there is a belief that okay when i fast one or two days whatever i have done wrong by eating a lot of fatty and heavy food will get balanced no that is creating another issue a particular period of time we are eating so much heavy item so body will be trying to struggle and get adjusted to that then we won't eat two days that is another extreme this extreme fluctuation causes a lot of issues to the system better to have a a moderate regular eating pattern here i want to mention one more thing according to ayurveda the digestive fire that converts the food into your nutrients the strength of that the balance of that is considered as the health now drinking lot of cold water the cold item may tamper this appropriate digestive mechanism because it is equal unto uh you are adding cold water to a small flame that kills the flame especially after having a, a good meal with uh, the proteins and some fat and all those thing when you drink ice water cold water that causes the globulation of uh, that fat that can again affect your digestion and metabolism please avoid drinking the ice water especially with food or immediately after food that is one of the key points to be remembered now i want to give you few tips to prevent metabolic disorder or those who are having minor initial stage of metabolic problems i want to give you some tips to come out of it let me give you five tips to help yourself i think the first and foremost thing is to eat in correct timing body is expecting a cyclic rhythm like sunset and sunrise like we sleep at night and active active day time keep good pattern three time meal morning lunch and dinner in equal interval moderate quantity and keep up that when you keep up that timing your system is set so the digestion absorption utilization everything will be proper and that will balance the all the seven tissues so eating in proper timing is the first point what i want to mention you to keep up good digestion and metabolism second point is what we eat that is the whole natural food better not to go for too much raw items better not to go for or too much refined items like white flour and refinement may give more concentration but you are going away from the natural blend natural vibration of those food item better to go for whole better to go for, for eating a fruit than going for just taking its pulp or a juice that always helps the fiber helps in fact fiber more fibrous food helps in reducing cholesterol because cholesterol is a transportation mechanism it comes out from the liver through the gall bladder to the intestine hooks the food molecules and go back goes back to the the system so it's a transportation mechanism when you eat lot of fibrous food the cholesterol coming out to the intestine to hook the lipids and other uh, nutrients 
that will get entangled in between the fibers. So there will be a mechanical removal of cholesterol from your system. So have more fibrous items rather than going for juice or pulp. But to have whole fruit, whole grains which contain more fibers. Then the activity level. You have to use it. That is one of the most important reasons these days. We have all facilities from house in a car to office, from office in a car to house. In office you have lift. So the physical activity has gone down considerably. We want to utilize our whole time for, it should be productive and active, where we are not remembering that we have to keep some time for our health because tampering the health, you create anything, earn anything, doesn't worth it. Because at the end of the day, if you are not healthy, whatever you create, there is no point. There is no use. So I think some activities, it can be the easiest and the best way is a walk in a day. Or just sitting and breathing. Pranayama, breathing exercise, is found to be very, very effective in balancing the entire prana metabolism. So a walk a day or sit and do some breathing, pranayama, 15 minutes a day, that helps a lot in bringing the metabolism in proper. Then use a lot of spices in the food because spices are the natural fires, enhances the cooking of the food into nutrients and the cooking of nutrients into your tissues. So the common spices like ginger, cinnamon, pepper, garlic, cumin, fennel, coriander, these are all excellent spices. Turmeric, one of the most uh, important spice, I would say, where it helps in preventing the inflammatory conditions and enhances the metabolism. When I mentioned about this inflammatory situation, according to Ayurveda, the main trigger for metabolic issue, the improper utilization of nutrients in the system, is because of absorption of improperly metabolized food into the system. When, you're, when your digestive strength is low, or when you have heavy food when your system is idling, or when you have a lot of cold items, the ice water and all, that creates low strength of digestive fire and that leads to absorption of improperly digested, improperly metabolized food into the system. Since it is impro improperly digested, what happens is it won't reach the final usable form of the food. So body will find it as a foreign body. It cannot use it. So what happens? It goes and blocks. It was a part of the food only, but it has not gone into the nutrient level. That leads sluggishness, inflammation, then further all the metabolic disorders. I think it is very important to keep up good digestive health by providing food in correct timing, proper quantity, proper quality of food, that the whole grain rather than refined, and proper water intake. These are the five main tips. I want to give you today to take care of yourself to prevent the metabolic disorders. Thank you.